I went to school just to please my dad Developed some anger as aftermath I fell off the course while you wait for a Porsche I'm coming in late off a helipad I ain't got that money, my nose always running Yo, what is going on everybody? We have another day in the Cardano market. We see ADA at about 150 at its peak. That's incredible. It's about, what, 6% up on the day and CNFTs are showing no signs of slowing down. If anything, the money is just pouring into random projects at this point. Mutant Crocs is the most recent to get the large pump. We saw Mutant Crocs go, I'll just show the chart. I will just show the chart. Mutant Crocs. That's a parabolic chart. That's absolutely insane. But yesterday is the day that they saw this incredible average floor price, or average price rather, went to 422. The average price, the medium price is 380. And you can see that. You can go over to JPEG store and you can see that it's sitting at about 323 at the moment. And if you go over to uh, CNFT, you can see Mutant Croc. They are at 370. So that is absolutely incredible. Congratulations to everybody who's holding a Mutant Croc. It's been a long time coming and I'm glad it's, uh, it's finally paying off. That is awesome. Their community is strong. They're great people. They're developing their marketplace and it's going well. So congratulations to all them. This video is going to be kind of going over just a few projects that are starting to see that love. So one that saw the love originally was Space Ape Club. Now, Space Ape Club, when I originally talked about them, probably maybe like a week ago, uh, maybe it was two weeks ago, I was looking at them and they didn't have their roadmap yet. They weren't really talking about anything that was going on. And I just didn't really like that approach from a lot of projects. However, that approach has been working out great. I didn't also do enough research and I didn't know that it was made by the same team, Lovelace. And Lovelace is a group of CNFT investors that have been making strides in the NFT community, specifically CNFTs, and been doing amazing things. So I believe more so in the project's uh, leadership than I do in the projects themselves. Like, you could tell me this project's gonna make this amount of money, whatever, but if you tell me, you know, Joe Schmo is behind the project, I'm like, eh, I'm not gonna do it, you know? Screw you, sorry. But you tell me Lovelace is in it, and you know, I'm gonna instantly change my mind. Bias, sure. I don't care. I've been in this space for a while. Lovelace is a name that you want to bet on. So I bought myself a Space Ape Club today. Hopefully they send it because it's the old style, one of the last old style that uh, CNFT is still doing, which means you send your ADA, you wait for them to send it back. If they don't send it, you get your money back because it's through CNFT.io. But anyways, I bought like a rank 700 and something and I'm hoping I get it. But Moving on, we can see their chart. They did see this love, and then they've drastically started selling less and less per day, and now it's kind of trending down to about 50 a day, which is still pretty strong for some projects, don't get me wrong. So that's where we're at now, but you can see the average price isn't going down. The amount bought is going down, which makes sense. If the price is going up, people aren't gonna have the money to buy it. So it doesn't necessarily mean that the prices are falling. So. This is one that I think is a good one to buy. I think it's kind of averaging out at its floor. It hit 110 about a week ago, and now it's back up to about 150. And I don't think we're gonna see it below 150 for a while. Maybe it dips to like 130, 120 within the week, maybe. But I see long-term growth with this project. They're introducing staking and they're introducing breeding, or not breeding, uh, gaming. Uh, so we'll have to see. They're gonna have their own token where you'll be able to spend your token in the game in some ways. So they have a lot coming. All right, moving on, we also have Goat Tribe. Goat Tribe's been out for a while. They have a really strong community, which I'm honestly not a part of, but I just know that their community is really strong. I always get people in the comments talking about Goat Tribe. You should look at Goat Tribe, Goat Tribe this, Goat Tribe that. I get it. Goat Tribe's a good project. I just personally didn't like the artwork that much, uh, but I think they're a bunch of great people. I love everybody in the community, honestly. As long as you're not a rug pull, I'm all for you. But they're seeing kind of the same thing. They're seeing, you know, falling off in some of the NFT volume. And then, you know, not as much ADA volume, but the prices are going up. So this makes sense. As long as the prices go up and this is at least steady or like just slowly declining, but the prices are going up, then that's absolutely fine. It means people are buying, they're getting in when they want to, and they're holding. And that's why the prices are going up. They're sweeping up the floors. So that's what these big ticks are. It's people buying a bunch of the floors. The floor price goes up, so people buy less. And that's just how it's going to work out. All right, so moving on, I wanted to talk about Cardano Trees and some OG projects because OG projects are 
almost always the projects that I think people are going to jump into, they're going to learn about, and they're going to respect because they've been here a while and they have something truly unique. So Cardano Trees, for example, is one of those projects. It minted about six to seven months ago. And you can see that they don't really sell a whole lot on any given day, at most four or five. Uh, I guess some hit like nine or eight. Let's see what it peaked at. It peaked at like 12 in the last month or two. Uh, maybe even like three months. No, 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 no. This is that month. Sorry, anyways, I'm rambling. But the average price is starting to go up a little bit, just slowly, just slowly. You can see the medium price at uh, 150. You can see the floor though is starting to go up slightly. You know, it was 108, it was 95, now it's 120. I kind of see this growing. It's an OG project. And the more people come into a community, the more they start to understand the community. Like let's say a bunch of people come in from Boss Cat Rocket Club. Well, the first thing they're gonna buy is Boss Cat Rocket Club because they came over from ETH because some ETH people knew about Boss Cats, excuse me. And so when they come over to Cardano, they're gonna wanna go into the first thing that they see and that they know. And that's smart too, because you should invest in what you know. You shouldn't be investing in just random stuff. But as you're here and as you're in Cardano, you're gonna learn about our ecosystem. You're gonna learn about our community. And we are extremely community-based. So many people, so many OGs have worked on so many projects and helped one another. And that's just how the Cardano ecosystem works. Maybe it works that way for Ethereum and Solana too, but I don't know because I'm not a part of them. Anyways, I believe that this is a project that's going to continue to see some love. And it wouldn't surprise me in a few weeks if this somehow gets shouted out by somebody big or somehow somebody finds out about it and they just like the artwork and they buy it. But these are Cardano trees. These, This is an example of one on CNFT.io. The country of origin is the United States and it shows you the longitude and latitude. And this is a common one. But these things are live. These trees change with the seasons. So as you can see, they're kind of bare. There's not, not uh, too much on them. And, you know, we're kind of in our winter and that makes sense. You know, the whole world's in winter, but you get what I'm saying. Eventually, these things will likely blossom or change into whatever trees that these are. I am i don't know much about trees, but, you know, they grow leaves, the leaves fall, they change colors with the seasons, that sort of thing. That's what Cardano Trees is all about. So another one that I've already talked about is Tiger Society. And I still strongly believe in Tiger Society. It hasn't seen a whole lot of love. It's still a small amount being bought on any given day. It did have a large amount of 40 but um, on one day. But you can see the average price for these is also slowly going up. And I think once they have more news about their game and how far along they are and that sort of thing, and once they start showing how people are going to actually receive their 3D assets, whether it's an NFT or whether it's just in game, as soon as there's more information in general, I believe this project's gonna continue to do well. Their floor price is steady, it's growing slowly, and same with their medium price. Another project is Yummy Universe, and I really expect them to start doing well. They haven't done well and seen pretty much any of that love since we've had more people join our space, but their prices are at least somewhat steady. Uh, I don't know exactly with this chart what it's showing because what I'm uh, specifically looking at are Yummy Universe Narus, which are their little like I don't know, creative little teddy bear looking things. Let me show you. Uh, yummy universe Narus. So these little dudes, I guess they are slightly going up. They're at about 180, 190, uh, but they've kind of been at that price for weeks now. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of just interested to see where this will go. And with this chart, it just says yummy universe. So I don't know if this is accounting for some of like the mugs or their apparel or their other like smaller project that they have going on. So I don't know if this is with the Narus or without the Narus or with everything, but you can kind of get a hint, I guess, at, to what the Narus are gonna do on this chart regardless. And their lowest floor is 26, so it's definitely not just the Narus, that's a fact. Nobody's selling a Naru for less than 120, in my opinion, that's just not happening, I promise you. Another OG project, Planet Pals. This is made by the creator Stale, who actually created CNFT.io. So they do have weekly updates on what they're doing with Planet Pals, and I'll show what a Planet Pal looks like. Planet Pals, they are developing a video game, which will be kind of like community based, where there'll be like teams, and you'll pick a team and or a side to fight on, and you can use a certain amount of these planets within the game and some of the rarer attributes will give you certain perks and each like like let's say the satellite will give you some sort of uh feature in the game some sort of like 
I don't know, it's like a, like a card game, right? Like they all have different attributes, they all do different things. So like the satellite will do something different than the arrow through him or the, uh, the flag or, you know, the hat or whatever. Like they all do different things. But uh, the floor for these is kind of steady. It's nice to see 20 for the smart contracts, but if you take off the smart contracts, you can see it's still below. It's like at 15. So we will have to see how that is going. But we can look at the charts, we can see not too many are being bought. For example, just one was bought on the 15th, so that's not the greatest. You don't really want to see just one or two being bought. But we can go look at the medium price, and we can see that it's chilling at about 20. It did go up with the average price up to around 80, so we'll have to see why that was. We can see at the very bottom down here, there was a sign or a sale for 420, blaze it. And I don't know why, so let's go check this. If you don't know about cnft.tools, use it to check out your projects. So I will type in the number of the planet that we're checking out, and we can see it's ranked 154. So that's why somebody was willing to spend 420 on it. It is, you know, not only top 1K, but it is top 200. So that is a really good planet. You can see it's Neptune, which is only 1.25% of all the planets are Neptune, and it has a Pretty low accessory count, but I guess it's Neptune. I guess people love Neptune. But yeah, that makes sense. And then the 111, we can see what that one's worth. It's probably also a decent rarity for it to be worth more than the floor. Um, rank 1,425, so yeah, not too bad. Saturn, 4%. You can see all the rarities on the side again. So that makes sense, and that is likely why you see the average price a little bit higher because people are buying the floors for 15 to 20 but people are also buying some top ones for 400. you can see the floor is kind of steadily rising it does have these kind of sharp ups and then sharp downs but if i had to guess this is because only a few were sold on that day so let's say there was only one sold for 95 well the floor and the ceiling are both going to be 95. so it's not the most like accurate representation of what the floor price is but this is another project that I would look at and I am looking at and I actually just bought another one today or yesterday. I bought another tiger yesterday and I bought my first uh, space ape this morning. So good luck to everybody buying. These are the things that I'm looking at. Do your own research. Have a nice day. Like and subscribe if any of this content helped you. And until next time, peace. I get it like a G, but it never came easy. You got me coughing up a lung, I wish I rap like Wheezy. I keep my pace, so I'm sorry that I'm breezy. Keep my sneaks laced, cause I can't afford Yeezys. I don't want the gold, give me BTC. Y'all be acting crazy.